As New York City and several other cities now brace for more protests, we show you the body cams, as they're called. The cameras now being worn by some police officers. Will they make a difference after that chokehold caught on tape? The country and the world now studying those images all week. The man 11 times saying, I can't breathe. Tonight, ABC's Ron Claiborne live here in New York. And Ron, you've got one of those body cams? Uh, that's right, David. This is what they look like. They're small and lightweight. And beginning today, New York City police officers, some of them in a pilot program, will be wearing these on duty. We're going to show you with the view that they show and record. Meanwhile, New York City gearing up for more protests tonight. By the thousands, they surge through the streets of New York City, hands up in mock surrender. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Those last words spoken by Eric Garner 11 times as he was being arrested beneath a pile of police officers. When you saw those videos, what did you see? I saw myself. I saw my brothers. I saw my uncle, my father. When they get older, I saw my sons. And, I, and I'm upset. It has to change. It has to change. Today, two days after a grand jury decided not to indict Officer Daniel Pantaleo, who appeared to put Garner in a chokehold after trying to arrest him for illegally selling cigarettes, the NYPD starting its own internal investigation into what happened. If we find that that evidence indicates there was some breach of police duty or police misconduct, we will file departmental charges. <laughs> Pantaleo could now face disciplinary action, even termination. Today, 27 officers started testing body cameras, small cameras attached to their chests. Officers are supposed to turn on the cameras and keep them rolling anytime they make an arrest, use force, or when an encounter escalates. The hope to provide clarity in cases like this. Watch as a dashboard camera records a Texas police officer tackling a suspect. We have no idea why. Now watch the same encounter from the officer's body cam. The suspect suddenly becoming violent, apparently provoking the officer's response. But Gwyn Carr, Eric Garner's mother, doesn't think body cams would have made any difference for her son. What is the cameras for if every time someone sees something that's happening on the camera, they're not going to do anything about it? And David, it's not just, New, not just New York, it's also Los Angeles, Philadelphia, and other cities testing out these body cams, and they're going into the future. David? Ron Claiborne on this story again tonight. Ron, thank you.